Hi, my name is Teresa Beckman. I am a physical therapist at Advocate Condell. I am here today to talk about the one muscle that is very difficult to stretch with spine problems, the hip flexor muscle group. It attaches from your front of your spine and it goes to your hip. The first exercise I'm going to show you is a stretch for the hip flexor that keeps your spine in neutral position. So our patient, Christine, is laying on her back and making sure that her spine stays in neutral position by bringing her opposite leg up towards her chest. She's lowering her right side, the stretch side, towards the floor to allow the hip flexor to stretch that goes from the front of her hip into the front of her spine. You're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds and then return to start position where she's gonna bring the knee up towards her chest, hold it with her hands, and then drop her other leg down towards the floor, maintaining a tight stomach to keep her spine in control. Again, she's gonna hold for 30 seconds and do four times on each side, in the morning and at night, twice a day. This exercise is also a hip flexor stretch. It is working on opening up the hip and keeping the spine in neutral position. It's a different position so that you can kneel on the floor instead of hanging your leg off the edge of the bed. So she's going to be kneeling on her right knee. The key to this exercise is making sure that your spine is not extended. So making sure your abdomen is tight and your pelvis is tucked under. That allows the front of the hip to get the most amount of stretch. Again, you're gonna be holding for 30 seconds and repeating on the opposite side four times each leg, in the morning and at night. The key to this muscle group is making sure your abdominals stay nice and tight to keep the spine in neutral position so that the back does not arch too much. The reason why this exercise is good to do is because most of us are sitting throughout our day and our hip flexors get short. So every time you go to stand up, it's good to stretch your hip flexors out and this is one way to do it at work. The other good idea is once you've been in the car for a long period of time, you need to make sure you're stretching your hip flexors when you're done. This next exercise is for strengthening of the hip abductors, the sides of your hip. One common problem is when the muscles are weak, it causes your hip to drop every time you take a step. So it makes your spine constantly stressed on the sides of your spine. So I'm gonna show a good strengthening exercise to keep your spine in neutral position, work on your core muscles, and strengthen the hip abductors. So Christine is laying against the wall, keeping her spine in neutral position by tightening up her abdominal muscles, keeping her top leg straight, and making sure when she raises her leg against the wall, it's sliding the entire time along the wall. You're gonna do small range of motion, so about maybe four to five inches in range, up and down. The goal is to achieve 50 repetitions, and then you know your muscles are working well. To start out with, start with five repetitions to make sure that you maintain good form, and you're gonna feel the muscle on the side of your hip working to maintain neutral position of your spine. If you find that your back is coming away from the wall, make sure you bend your bottom leg a little bit more to keep your spine flexed and in neutral position so it doesn't arch when you're doing this exercise. Once you're finished with that side, you're gonna repeat on the opposite side. Again, working up to 50 repetitions because that muscle is constantly activated when you walk. These three exercises that we have just shown you help promote a good, strong spine. It works your core muscle groups, your hip abductors, and keeps your hip flexors stretched. One of the problems with spines is that we sit a lot throughout the day, so these three exercises will help control what is happening at your spine and keep it happy and healthy.